Hello everybody again, another one today, a Honda And it's the Jazz, right? So the customer's complaint is the ABS light uh, The ABS light is on, it's hard to see So there's the code there, a 51-1 ABS pump motor failure, but actually if you go in, I don't know what this is Read it before. There you go, there's the kind of figures we're getting. APS pump motor, three volts, but I'd imagine when you get an ABS activation, eh, that should kick in. But all the rest of the figures look normal. Eh, so there's the brake pedal switch. So I'll just press that on and off. Eh, pump motor relay, so it says it's on, so that means it's getting power fed to it. As you see, I check the fuses. But if I go to this here, and we'll go back codes only. So that one's coming back. So we'll clear that out. Clear codes. It doesn't come back straight away. Uh, DTC arrays. So try again. Codes only. It clears it out. If we do functional tests, so we'll go right front solenoid. So it says there, the test ABS on or off when the test is running, you will experience some kickback through the brake pedal. No, do not run this test if there's a, D, a, D, D, a DTC in the ABS. This will take up to five seconds. So we'll continue. Uh, stop the vehicle, press the brake pedal, that's what I'll do, and continue. Now you should normally hear the buzzing through the motor here. So I never actually heard nothing the other night, so, so we'll go. We'll go left front this time. Let's see if this works. You just hear it clicking, and I'm feeling the brake pedal go down just a little bit, but I'm not hearing that buzzing from the motor. So let's see how quickly it returns. That's no bad yet, but it won't. The last time I just gave it a little run, it came back right away. So it needs a motor. Oh, yeah. There's two fuses here to do with ABS. Just show you that. The diagram here, so you can see there, there's a 30 amp and a 40 amp fuse there, and this two and 30 amp. So this is it in the fuse box, there's the, by the way, there's a 40 amp there, and there's a 30 amp there. So, check the fuses in the normal manner. Test light. Just put it to each side of the fuse. You can see that side lights, that side lights. And I had to take this one out and do a continuity test, so that checks out fine. So what I then done, I took the car a, a run, and uh, you can't actually feel the pump kicking in, nor with the functional test, it's can't tell. So here's the ABS unit down here. Oops. So you see I've disconnected the multi-plug. These are all roughly the same, these focus on that. So you have at the back there, two big powers and two big grounds, so it's a matter of checking them out. So I've got my test light on the power lead, so you see that's good. So I'll just there we go. So that's a power at that pin there, and a power at the other pin there. So that's the two end pins. Let's see. that again for you. Power there. <laughs> Power there, so what we then do is check our air connections. Put that there. Check your test light. In a wee bitty. So there you can see it's lighting up there. And there's another earth there, so that's all good. Let me just see if I can show you that later. So, that's a motor plug. We'll see where the V white bit is. So, the two on the left are the two powers, and the two on the right are the two grounds. So, they check out fine. So, 
Cheers. 